All right, folks, so what I like to do is make my piles after hula hoeing. I come and grab my scoop shovel. You see in the alley, I have some piles. this setup it makes it fairly easy to pick piles up so my game plan is to basically get the piles from inside the yard onto the tarp I'm gonna throw it over the fence. That way I don't have to drag it all the way around. It's in position. So you can see these piles here. And get my tools arranged. I can literally do this while filming. So Basically just bring the pile back. And it's not really that easy with the, the phone, but you get the idea. Push your pile onto the tarp. A little stupid. Since I'm filming here, I'm gonna do it a different way. So that's basically the technique. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, so we're about midpoint. All the piles from the interior front yard are picked up with the seat shovel and the rake, which I placed over there above the fence. We've accumulated this much debris from the interior, which includes leaves and cactus. So now what I can do is I'm gonna pull it. Oh, it's actually fairly heavy. I'm gonna pull it to the truck and I'm not gonna load these two just yet, just because of the weight. Or maybe I will, just these three. And I'm sure I can sustain the weight of it. Possibly even picking up these piles on the way to the truck. So I'll check back in with you right after this. All right, so I changed up the plan a little bit. I still have the piles on the inside, but what I'm gonna do is pitchfork this stuff onto the back of the wagon and come back for a second edition of the tarp. I did collect three of the piles alongside of the wall. Normally, if you have a second person working with you, you both can load up the tarp by lifting each end up and loading your wagon that way. When working alone, the pitchfork acts as your second man. I'll be with you right after this. All right. So the tarp ideally is for reducing your trash can loads. What we pulled on that last one was about 10 to 15 trash can loads. As you can see the piles in the alley, they could easily go into this dumpster. But I believe in not using the client's trash can or any surrounding trash can that's going to inconvenience the person who is ideally paying for this trash can. So we're going to go ahead and load up these four piles and I'll be right back with you. 
All right, so these last two piles, I went ahead and pulled my truck up alongside the fence with the pitchfork. These two piles and the load we already have, I could just reach right over the fence and start loading. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this loaded up and I'll be right with you guys again for another video. Holy moly, we got a loaded truck bed packed with leaves. Those piles were all picked up. Our trusty pitchfork and rake got the job done. You can see these weeds right here. I'm probably gonna weed whack those down. And we're gonna take the tarp into the back. And from there, I'll have another video for you. All right, folks, we're doing our spray, but as far as the tarp, we already got it strapped in on the back of our wagon. We got cactus and grass and leaves loaded up. Two ratchet straps X'd over. And I'll see you on some other job sites. Have a great day.